If you wanted to use Blender on an iPad, then you can understand what this video's purpose is about. So this is Blender. It's running on a Surface tablet. It's not on an iPad, but it has that same type of tablet usability. If you want to learn how to do this on an iPad with a stylus and pressure, so we'll see right here. Oh, let's uh, actually select this and undo that. All right, so here, this is light pressure, heavy pressure, lighter pressure, like more medium, heavy pressure, light pressure, heavy pressure. You get the idea. And so here you can rotate and pan and do all these different things. So if you want to watch that video, then uh, I'll put the link to that in the description. So before you go anywhere, I want you to watch this video and see what it is that's being presented. So when you're trying to use a computer in a tablet mode, then being able to hold it and use both hands, your right and your left hand, uh, is a very natural, enjoyable, effective experience if you have the right tools. So Blender just updated and it now supports simultaneous pen and touch. So this is going to allow us to do some really cool things. ZBrush updated with this about a year ago. and I was really excited so much so that I made a ridiculous looking thumbnail for my YouTube video. I'm like, ah. it's a really big improvement. So I'm gonna take my stylus and I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw here. You can see we're adding material. And now I can move this around. If I press control, I can subtract and shift. I can smooth. And then if I press the side button on the stylus, you can see that while hovering, I can rotate. So here I can zoom up, in and out. And right here, I can pan left and right and up and down. So there's a whole bunch of different controls inside of Blender um, here. Pressing this button right here opens up some of the other menus that you would use on a regular basis inside of Blender. Okay, and I switched something here. Sculpt mode. Whoops. Okay, let's undo and let's switch here. And this works really well. So I'm going to show my settings. I'm going to also show how to set this up uh, inside of Tablet Pro. Now, Tablet Pro has a brand new version, version 3. And Tablet Pro is, is what you need to make your Surface tablet, your Windows tablet function the way that you want. So you can use it without having to sit down or use a keyboard or a mouse. This means you can actually sculpt and create 3D models on the couch with your family or your friends or sitting wherever you want. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna talk about setting up radius to be adjusted by a slider. So here we're going to use size and we're going to adjust, we're going to set it to radius. So I'm going to click this gear icon in the corner. We're going to pick the size button and we're going to drag here to radius. We're going to put it right near the edge and set this to drag location L button. Click apply. Now, when we put our thumb here on the left, you can see that we can adjust the radius here on the fly. Very, very easy and quick way to uh, make the size larger and smaller. All right, that's pretty cool. And now for settings, I have this set up, as far as I know, I have this set to the default preferences, but let's go through that. Uh, with the exception of emulate three button mouse is turned on. And if we go down here, you can see what my settings are. 
and navigation, you can see my settings, and key map, you can see my settings here. I don't think I have anything uh, other than standard in any of these menus, uh, with the exception of emulate three button mouse. Okay, now to get this to run, uh, go to tabletpro.com, and uh, on the install page, you can download the free trial. The uh, beta version, which has this fancy new editor that allows you to do this really easily, that is included with your purchase today. So you don't have to worry about that, but you do have to send me an email to get into the beta. If this is um, sometime in January, it's probably already available, so you can just simply purchase. All right, in order to load this, once you have Tablet Pro installed, you'll see down here, probably like this, the pen tool icon. Uh, we're going to double click on the icon. And then here you're going to select Blender and just double click on it. There's some information here on your settings. Notice that middle click is selected here for barrel. All right, you guys, uh, I'm really excited that Blender now supports simultaneous pen and touch. This is a really big deal. If you have questions or have uh, any comments about Blender in an iPad-esque environment, please feel free to uh, put it in the comment section. And I'm using a Surface Laptop Studio, which I think is a great combination for Blender, as well as the Surface Pro 8 or 9. Those are my two favorite tablets. Uh, and the Surface Laptop Studio is the one I use because I like the dedicated graphics. Until next time, stay creative. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.